When you visit the Lucknow Mansion at Castle in the Clouds, you will notice that we focus on the story of the original owners of the home, Tom and Olive Plant. We may mention subsequent owners, but we don't often have time to tell the full history of this amazing land. To do that, we'd have to keep you all day. So let me take a moment to share something you may not have heard on your last visit to the castle. Did you know that the Lucknow Mansion actually sits on the southern slope of an extinct volcano? It's true. What we call the Ossipee Mountains today are actually the remnants of a volcano that may have reached a height of 10,000 feet. For comparison, Mount Washington is just under 6,300 feet, and Mount Shaw, the highest of the Ossipees, is about 3,000 feet. Now this volcano had three major eruptions beginning about 100 million years ago. After the first eruption, the top of the volcanic cone collapsed into the empty magma chamber and formed a caldera, a kind of volcanic crater. About 10 million years after that, a second eruption took place. In this eruption, the magma that was forced up cooled rapidly, creating a granite distinctly darker than the pink-toned Conway granite that's common in the area. This darker granite coated the inside of the caldera, forming a feature called a ring dike. The Ossipee Mountains form a nearly complete circle, and it happens to be one of the most famous ring dikes in the world to geologists. Now flash forward 90 million years. Tom Plant has purchased his great estate and has decided to put his new home on the site of a structure called the Crow's Nest, a viewing platform overlooking Lake Winnipesaukee. But to build here certainly would require some blasting to level the peak. It is very likely that some of the blasted stone was used to finish the exterior of the home. Speaking of that stone facade, it's actually a veneer. Pieces of Conway granite and local rhyolite about two inches thick that cover terracotta architectural blocks. Some believe that these stones were sliced from five-sided stone columns that occur naturally in the area. But if you look closely, the stones on the home's facade can range from three-sided to eight-sided. Our restoration stonemasons believe that these stones were actually shaped by hand in order to fit together so precisely. It has been said that a good stonemason could shape and place three stones a day. Imagine how long it would take one person to cover the whole exterior of this house. Of course, Tom Plant undoubtedly hired many stonemasons. News articles from 1913 reported that as many as 1,000 men were employed in the construction of his estate. So there were probably a good number of stonemasons at work up here. So next time you visit us, take a minute to look closely at the stones that cover our castle. And remember that the history of this estate is much, much longer than you might realize. 100 million years longer, 